Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps today. Ooh, you guys alerted me to something fun. I'm excited to watch this and react to it with you all. So, so many of you, starting with Daughter of Darkness, thank you for sending it, sent me this TikTok. I didn't realize that Dana Carvey and David Spade have a podcast. I found it, I use, um, what's it called, Overcast to stream my podcast, but I believe they, I believe it's anywhere podcasts are. They advertise it through Spotify, but I think you can download them anywhere. Anyway, seems to have started around January, 2022. You guys sent me the TikTok and the clips to let me know that they are talking about these two. So I thought, you know what? Let's just watch it. Let's watch the TikTok and we'll react to it and we'll discuss amongst ourselves because they are taking pretty big shots at these two, which I find very funny. Okay, so this TikTok came out yesterday. It was released yesterday. And again, thank you to everybody who sent it to me. Um, it is found uninterrupted on David Spade's TikTok. So if you want a TikTok, search David Spade. You'll find him with the blue check mark. And it is the most recent TikTok as of the time of this recording. So I'm going to play it for you now. I caught a lot of flack on the Thomas Markle one. This is a reaction channel. I react to other people's clips. I'm not just going to the, play the clip. If you want to hear that, you can go to TikTok and listen to it. You will hear my reaction in this clip as we go. So know that. Before you get frustrated, know that. Anyway, I know. It's just the sugars doing that. It's so irritating. They don't understand that this is a reaction channel. And if they want to see the un uninterrupted video, they have to go to the original source. Yikes. Anyway, guys... Thank you so much for being here. I'm excited to watch this with you. I'm going to tell you, they get into some blue humor. If that's not your thing, maybe you want to skip this one. If you're in for it, me too. Let's buckle up and take a look. Prince Harry and Margot Mikkel went out to dinner last night for her birthday. Clearly, they record these in advance. We know it was, what, last week, week before when they went out for the birthday. But again, this just dropped on TikTok. And if you're young, and I'm sighing over this because I love them, and you don't know who these people are, this guy talking right here is Dana Carvey. Hilarious. He used to be on Saturday Night Live. And he's talking to David Spade, who also used to be on Saturday Night Live. Very funny. Mm -hmm. Montecito. Oh, that's up by you. Let's go out, Eddie. I want to go out. Which one's that, Megan or Harry? It's Megan. Oh. <laughs> Harry, I want to go out, Harry. Okay, Megan. Oh. He's like, yes, mommy. Hey. We're, we're going to go to a restaurant. Are we going to oh. Peggers? And order all kinds of appetizers. <laughs> Harry. Hey, I'm pausing here because there's a natural break in the conversation, and I realize it's annoying to stop over and over, but again, I'm a reaction channel. I'm reacting. Here we go. You guys, I love this so much. I love that they had Harry call her mommy. I don't know what accent they're doing for her, but I'm all for it. You guys, they said, are we going to Peggers? Just think about that. That's her. The paparazzi will be there, Harry. I'm wearing my form-fitting striped dress. And I'll wear a sweater. <laughs> Shut up, you ginger fool. Or you won't get pegged. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This is my real voice. You make me sick. Okay, again with the peg stuff, and I like her real voice. Does anybody else think that's actually how she talks? Yeah, me too. With that orange mop top of yours and your squeaky voice, you are a spare. I don't know what's going on here. I can't stop laughing, and I'm actually wondering, do you think this is like some of their bedroom stuff? Do you think he's into it? That she insults him and calls him spare, and he cries and says, yes, mommy? I would have... <laughs> Every gaffer on suits over you. And believe me, I had my share of gaffers. I'm Meghan Markle, and this is the real me. I ate them up. I took down a few grips first. I like crew wiener. Oh my god, I think I need that shirt. I like crew wiener. You like to hear that? <laughs> Mommy, I don't know the, I don't know how you Americans talk. Crew wiener sounds funny. Let's have a barbecue. I'm truly dying over this. I think I like the voice they gave Harry even more than the one they gave Megan. This is perfection. Oh, it's a cut down, you f***. <laughs> you don't get it. Go get pegged. Okay, so that's it for the video. I'm just playing it again without sound so we can talk about it. So much to talk about here. I told you it was blue humor, right? I warned you. Um, anyway, hilarious. I just, again, I just talked about this in a different video. I'd love to be a fly on the wall 
when you know when they're reacting to things and this is one i would like to get a reaction on um i can't imagine they were overly happy about this i'm sure they'll throw around some ist words at some point but uh gosh you guys too funny i i just like that celebs are picking up on all this nonsense right more and more people are coming out and i don't know talking about how ridiculous they are um and so i think i think that's actually pretty great uh i think this is pretty funny i mean they're just being silly but it's it's funny and made me laugh and so i just thought i wanted to get something out about this again thank you to everybody who sent it to me and let me know of its existence what are your thoughts on this you know it's got to rub megan extra the wrong way because here they are well basically not bashing i hate that word like uh teasing about her and uh and harry on a podcast and that's got to rub her the wrong way because sore subject right and it looks like they actually put work into their podcast so that's got to be tough for her right <laughs> um anyway that hour a week it's just too hard right too hard couldn't keep that podcast not even for 20 million god i cannot i'll never let that go because that's crazy i mean i think most of us are in the same boat where we'd be like oh my god if they paid me twenty thousand, i'd work around the clock let alone whatever it was 20 million i don't remember the figure but whatever it was ridiculousness right but guys that is it for that i had a lot of fun watching and reacting to this one again if you want to find the end uninterrupted one it's on david spade's tiktok you can definitely find it there uh the podcast that it came from is called fly on the wall i found it on um overcast which is what i use for my podcast but i believe that they were advertising it on spotify but it's actually called fly on the wall with dana carvey and david spade so again thank you so much for being here and for watching and as more things come out you know i will be talking about it I hope you guys have the best day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.